East Palisades Trail, Atlanta, Georgia. Hi. So I'm here hiking in Atlanta, Georgia what would be called um, Whitestone Creek or at least call it East Palisades um, East Palisades Trail um, here's the thing I also remember I guess one thing we go walking on a treadmill we go walking out in the street I think it just dawned on me that like this is the most optimal of experiences here seriously because what you're getting so yeah the experience from hiking just cannot compare. Why? Uh, it, I mean, from just regular walking on a treadmill does not compare because you get to breathe in. Um, you get to breathe in. Before I finish explaining, I just want to say there's a big bird sighting over here. Look at that. I'll try to find a way to post up on it, but it's super cool seeing here in Atlanta, Georgia, state of Georgia, this bird. Super cool. So as I was saying, it's one thing you're getting walking in. And of course, you know, on a sunny day, it's it's amazing, right? You get sun like I got on my skin when I was walking in downtown Georgia or Atlanta. But like here, you got to think when you're hiking, man, you're getting a lot of great things. You're getting the cleanliness of trees, which is cleaning your, you know, which is cleaning your, uh, your lungs. You're getting softer uh, dirt versus hard concrete which you know there's a debate about that you know not necessarily doing the best for your ankles your feet you know your legs just your spine so you get softer softer walking spot right and uh, I mean you could practice mindfulness here too just maybe turning off all electronics and just listening to the sounds of the of the insects and animals smelling the different smells of different trees um it's just amazing it is it's cleansing spiritually mentally emotionally it's just a lot of benefit just uh taking a hike out in nature that we neglect and if you can even go the extra mile my friends taking off your shoes because grounding you know they talk about the whole idea of having your feet touch the dirt touch the grass touch the actual earth is very good for your um just everything on a they can say cellular level but just even high level good for your mental health your clarity cleanses your brain 
you know, clean, you know, just also de can also help perhaps detoxify you in a different, in many different ways, you know, chem biochemically. But uh, there is just so much uh, benefit to uh, walking out in the woods, you know. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, it's a good stuff, man. Super thankful. And then there is a fork in the road. So we must decide in life which path we like to go to. So East Palisades gives you markers and a legend, shows you where you are. So I guess I'm on episode two. No, I'm just EP two, which I don't know what that means. But uh, super cool. I'm just going to take the route, walk for a little bit more. And enjoy this experience. Super cool. Shout out if you've been, uh, if you're a hiker or if you enjoy taking walks or strolls down natural paths. So if you think about the hiking trail, it's a little more narrow, which kind of, I guess you could, if you want to philosophize about it, I like saying that word because like, you could see things in life in so many different angles, okay? <laughs> you can. You can see it from so many different perspectives. Like, people can say, oh my God, it's so tight. But it's. I feel like by having a narrow... See, right here is a little more wide. Like, this is kind of like your standard. But, like, when you get into, like, a narrow uh, hiking uh, trail, it kind of just gives you a feeling like you're actually, like, almost walking through the woods like you're charting your own territory like you feel a little bit more at one with the woods when you're walking in a more narrow um uh path so um so that's my one observation is that the for the most part all the way up to at least here now started to get a little more uh wide got a little wider as we got here but um yeah the the, the narrow the narrow trails kind of cool just breathe it all in. Breathe it all in. Breathe it. So super cool, uh, two things. Obviously they got another way of not just going straight, um, straight path, you know. They also have a uh, hill, you know. So you got some upward movements as well. So you get a little exercise in, you can get a little stroll. You, but you know, as you can see, we are moving upwards. And then the second thing I must say, as we're almost about to hit the next marker, there's a marker for you to see where you are in relation to the forest. So pretty much you can't get lost fully. All right, now we got up here uh, because you have the marker. And the marker is telling me where I'm right now. EP5. All right, have a chance to go this way. We'll go that way, which probably ends if I go through, yeah, EP, EP30, we'll stop there. No more trails there. Also, corrections, we are not in Atlanta, although I want to say we're in Atlanta. But we are in, um, is this? Yeah, we're in Atlanta. Sorry, because I see park address, Indian Trail, which is 1425 Indian Trail, Sandy Springs, Georgia. And then Whitewater Creek Road is at in Atlanta. So there you go. We have another animal. Where can I see it? I can't even see it in this darn camera. There you are. Hi. There's a little cavern spot. Let's uh, turn it around. Spin it a little bit. Just spin it a little bit. 
Who? 